Right, guys, well, the club have announced today, uh, to no surprise of anybody, really, John Rankin is confirmed as our new head coach. Very, very good. Uh, very happy with that. He obviously very good for the nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, he obviously, that'll be 10 euros, is it? <laughs> uh, came in as stand assistant, obviously. We all said we saw a big improvement in performance season results once he came in. He's taken pre-season. Good results there, given the opposition, but still good results. Responds well with the fans. He seems to be getting the best out of players. And I'm personally really looking forward to see what he's like going forward as manager. I think this will be the culture change that we really need. I think there's a lot of things that we've really fallen away from since Alec Neal's left. And I think this is the guy to, to bring things back. So no I, pressure. I, I, <laughs> listen, the, the further the line we get with these managers, years on years, the pressure gets higher and higher yeah. because we've fallen further and further away from what we are capable of. So... Uh, I'm genuinely really happy with this appointment, so no pressure. Aye, listen, I don't think I've saw one person, actually I did see one person that sort of an un, called him an untried manager, and we know how that's went. Um, he's not was, wrong, technically. He's not wrong, like, technically, but it just fe- this one feels different. Yeah, um, exactly. like, David, like David mentions, like sort of prior managers which we've had, which we sort of compare to sort of p- players being rushed in and forced in. Um, I don't know there's something when you hear him speak and he uses class and everybody does I've not saw a player ever say a bad word about him uh, it is very much Alec Neal-esque vibes mm-hmm. um, we did have a completely different squad back then though we need to remember that so the standard of player isn't to that level but if we get if we bring in players that he wants and he gets to sort of and put his own mantra and he he gets to sort of have the say and everything and have no I, I think we'll be safe this season at, at the bare minimum the standard of the league's not that be, that great and I am just looking forward to seeing what he can do and sort of getting behind him because I don't think I was there's not been a sort of manager since Alex Neil that we've everybody has sort of wanted to get behind and, co- and had confidence in like people like for instance when Taylor came in you did have fans that were like alright ex-player quite yeah, happy right. with that but people it was very level fenced everyone seems to have confidence in this guy and if we give him the tools which shouldn't be that far away from what he needs then I have every confidence that we might start enjoying the football team again. Don't be shy. Call, call my pump of a man. Oh, a pump of a man as well. <laughs> <laughs> the point you just said though about the Alex Neil, I the personnel was different, but the same thing is is Al- Alex Neil took over a squad that should have been doing much better than they were. Look at the player. I mean, I've seen players that uh, come in preseason pictures, and I forgot they were even here because they had that quiet a season they were like that a, poor that they were just exactly. you forgot so they were there like there's bear in mind we've got Kieran McDonald, Dan O'Reilly um, Scott Steve Martin, Lawson, Scott Martin Steve Lawson. these are good players Bruce Math and, and like the potential to be quality players in this division so end of the day is it is a different team for what Alec Neal inherited but in principle it's the same squad in the sense that they should be doing so much better and they are definitely capable of it's not a case that we're down to the bare bones. We haven't got the depth. That goes without saying. But what team nowadays do in our division? So let's see how he does. I'm confident he can get the best out of players that we think have underperformed. Aye. Um, I, I think he's got that, as Brian said, he oozes that confidence. The way he speaks when he does interviews, doing pundit on Sky Sports, he seems to just... I have confidence in him, you know. In, in, in the players are, the players are, are buying in. It. You get with players that sometimes they just... Look at managers and they'll be like, why am I even listening yeah, to you? Aye. And then that's when you know that they're not performing to that standard because they're just not buying into it. Mm. I think all the players will buy into what he's yeah, saying yeah. and what, what he wants. And like I said, give him the tools that we can ultimately give him because I know we're going on about being in, it'll be a tough season, but we don't necessarily need fucking mass amount of aye. tools. There's only a it's couple. What we make it. It's what we make of it. And I think he'll make of it brilliant. So I know I'm looking forward to she, uh, hopefully enjoying the football team again because we went into last season thinking well actually we went through all that shite uh, losing so many games we thought right we're going to go down a league and uh, eventually get yep. to enjoy our football team again which we didn't get hopefully this is a season where we get more enjoyment than we do misery um, yeah. fingers crossed no pressure ranks but hmm. 
Aye. Listen, we've all done the interviews a few times with a few different managers now. There's been games where it's just been a case it's not been good enough. And we've got this guy standing in front of us, different managers on different occasions, picking out positives and things like that. At the end of the day, it's like we're talking about with pre-season games. It is still games. It's all about the results. You know that ranking's going to be a case of... He's very, he open, get, very open, very yeah. honest. You, you saw his interview. And it seems like he knows what he's doing. Mm. So I don't think it's just one game plan he'll adapt yeah. and I, 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 like I say it's, it's one of these guys where I don't think we've had it since that and where you do have confidence that listen the guy talks well I've had guys that talk good games but it, it feels like he will let his football do the talking and the results will do the talking because he's not going to we're not going to be sitting there after dropping last minute points like we did countless times last season and talk about the positives there is it was in that scenario and I can't imagine I think if you suggested that to him he would jump up nutty <laughs> you know what I mean but it's I, he, would, he might need a jump for me <laughs> would, don't worry he'd be nothing down the way <laughs> but I think there's I think there's so many positives to take away for this appointment so let's let's see what happens